Hey guys, it's Sherry here, and I wanted to talk to you today about tactical arbitrage. Um, it is a powerful piece of software. When you first get started with it, it can seem overwhelming, so I wanted to simplify it down. Um, there will be a video um, on this page uh, that talks to you about how to set it up from when you very first sign up. Um, but this is just a run through to see if it's right for you. Um, specifically, we're going to work with product search. And the great news is you can utilize product search, reverse search, Amazon flips, and you can be running those all at the same time. So let's get started with product search. A really good way to do it is find a deal site. So this is dealnews.com. So today's deal, Puma is having a private sale. So let's check it out. 75% off. We want to check and see if tactical arbitrage supports Puma and they have so many stores as you can see isn't it? there it is right there so Puma so we're gonna go here and uh, they have 1900 products um, it's already here uh, with the individual products they have the sale price listed these are things you'll want to know so you come over here anytime you select a store if you hit this arrow it'll take you to the store and then right here on the right, it'll tell you what kind of example you need to put in category. So for this website, it is specifically a um, web address. And then um, what I do, okay, so you go over here. So I'm going to take the web address. Um, one thing to note is let's say that this was a page that didn't have the individual items on it that is not searchable um, you want to get into a page that has individual items on it so let's say if we, I'll just show you if you went to Puma by itself see it doesn't have individual items you've got to get into a category of some kind right so with that one we, we just went to the private sale and that brought up the the web page so let's go ahead and go over here oh. Go on category, I'm gonna paste. Um, on this, on the private sale, if you look, it says 1903 products, okay? And uh, 32 products per page. So 1903 divided by 32, you're gonna to wanna to do at least 60 pages. So start page one last page 60. Um, once you have created or searched anything you can go ahead and click use last filter settings. Um, so what this is for me um, if you go to ebates.com which is another great place to find sales so see this is a up to 70 percent off private sale um, and uh, sales are a great way to decide which store you're going to search. So let's search Puma for Ebates. And there's the sale and 4.5% cash back. Now you don't have to put this in, I'm just showing you this. 4.5% cash back, that's going to reduce the price on everything we find to uh, allow for the Ebates return uh, rebate that would come to you. Uh, this would also be where you're going to put, let's say in the private sale, it had $80 as its list price, and then in the cart, it took the 75% off, or in this case, 50% off. Um, what you would want to do is go ahead and put 50% uh, off. Like So yesterday at Shop World Kitchen, they had a 30% off if you bought four or more of an item, and an additional 20% off. So I put 30% off in... Uh, field one and 20% off in field two and then you run it um, okay so that you'll want to put your reductions if you have any store sales right there um, you can put in your sales tax if you'd like I look go ahead and leave that blank um, remove products over whatever rank you want so like if I was looking at specifically at a home store this would be at a hundred thousand if I was looking at grocery for me a lot of times that's thirty thousand but see, these are my ranks. You want to just put in whatever rank you use. Um, so a lot of Puma is going to be a lot of shoes and clothes. I'm going to put in 80,000. Remove products with more than 100 sellers. On this kind of item, it probably won't matter. So 
and you can leave it in there. One thing to note is if you're having trouble getting results when you run a TA search, you might want to just leave it all blank and just see what comes up so you can start getting a feel for it. Um, I don't remove oversize. I don't select any of those. Now, I do remove products if Amazon's price is less than $15 um, because I don't want to sell anything less than that. Uh, the fees eat it up. And then two times the store price. So it needs, if it's selling in the store for 10, it needs to be selling on Amazon for at least 20. Um, I, you can put your cost to prep if you have a prep cost here. Um, and then the amount to ship. This is per pound. I put in 50 cents. Now my gross profit is at least $6 and the gross ROI is at least 40%. Um, and then you just click submit. Um, this other stuff I'll go over real quick. This you don't need to really worry about as right now. There are some things I will actually be showing in a later video about how you can create your own bulk lists. Um, for some sites it's easy and for some sites it's worth it to buy them. Um, okay, so, and then of course uh, other coupons, Retail Me Not. It, he always puts stuff like this on the side. It's really useful information. Oh, one thing. If you want to let, know more about any one of these things, you just scroll over the... Um, question mark and it will tell you. You just click submit. Now it's starting here and as this goes what this stuff means if uh, you're doing other things on your computer and it seems to have um, this number's not moving the, and showing that it's going through more more products you click refresh logs and it will do it. So see um, this is skipped because of a rank filter. Uh, so what that means is uh, this product that they found is above 80,000. And this doesn't matter really to you. I mean, you can, depending on how uh, in-depth you want to get. But it will already catalog everything for you. Um, so this is a good thing to note, though. See how so much of this has been skipped because of the rank filter? So if you really want to, like if your tolerance for, for uh, clothes and shoes is higher, maybe 100,000, you might want to stop this and rerun it at 100,000. So that is how you start the search. And the really good news is, is once you do this, you can start a reverse search, which I'll be showing in another video. But let me show you what happens after you run a search. Okay, so you go over here and um, you can see these are all the Puma finds. What I do first thing is I go through if there's anything that mismatches. So see, those do not match. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. Any others that don't match? Oh, that's a high top and that's not. Or is it the same? Yeah, I'm going to go no on that one. Um, so... Okay, let's see. So the jacket is a mismatch. Let's go ahead and do that. That's a mismatch. Um, this one doesn't have the picture, and you can go check it out. I mean, you know, it really depends on on how many results you have and how fast you want to go. Um, then what you'd want to do is let's take these cargo pants, right? So if you hover over, it'll show you the picture up bigger. Those are the same cargo pants. Right here, it shows you where it is, the title, the price, the adjusted price. Now, remember, this is with my Ebates money off, so the actual price would still be the 22. This would just be the rebate. Uh, but if there's a sale, this is really where your adjusted price shows. Then the Amazon link, what category it's in, it's ASIN, UPC. Um, the buy box is currently at 45. Um, after the FBA fees. Um, so your gross profit here and your gross ROI, there are two sellers, has its weight and its rank. So let's go ahead and go ahead and check this out. Um, okay, so you have different sizes and it's anywhere between 24 and 91. So let's go with large. Large is selling for 26. Extra large, 24, 28. So that one might not work because see, we can get it for 21. So that one's not going to work. 
So I would go item by item after I've deleted any that didn't match and you want to just find one that's going to work for you. So this one's 33, it's only for 99, but I can't tell the color. See on this kind of thing, I usually delete these because the color is hard. When the color is off a little bit, I don't usually go for those. So let's do these. These look exactly alike. These are the same. Yep, 1.4 gene year. Okay, 24 and 52. Okay, so that's a good... Um, got a profit of 14. It's at 74,000. So I might buy one pair of these. So let's go here. And let's look at some sizes. Okay, so one and a half, 5250. Um, let's go back over here. Let's go to Puma. And let's see if they've got the one and a half. Yep, for $26. Um, one thing to note uh, when you're doing shoes is fits as expected. So this is at 50% of people think it fits as expected. Um, you know, the higher that number is, the better it is for you. So that's just a walkthrough. That is how you can find products. And you saw how fast. I mean, it, I went through, I scanned some stuff, and I have pages of Puma results. And the great news is, is you can be utilizing reverse search at the same time. And actually, I will be showing you how to utilize reverse search um, in another video. So go ahead and check out this um, page for more of the videos. And if you guys think that tactical arbitrage can really set off your sourcing, please, um, I have a link down here. You can go ahead and click it. It'll take you to the sign-up page. It's really simple. Um, to get started, as far as once you start, because this is another thing for you, you have to set up um, permissions with Amazon and everything, and it can be overwhelming. So I will have a step-by-step -step video that shows you screenshot by screenshot how to sign up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.